So in this video, we'll try to learn that another control that called label. So we basically use that label to write that some info content there, or maybe display some information for the users. So we use that label, and we understand that how all uh, what all other properties are there that we can use. So now I will move to Visual Studio. Okay. So here I have created that one basic uh, WPL project that called Label. Nothing apart from this. So we have now here. So now if I try to go ahead, now I will try to create that label. Okay. So now I put that label. First thing I created label, and last time we discussed that. How this did that alignment automatically because of that I have installed that other one, one extension. If you're not aware, I will request you to go and watch my previous video and please install it. That will be helpful to do that alignment automatically. Now I wanted to do now label dot context. Okay, so I will put it here. Welcome to WPF. WPF. Okay. So now we can see that it's already displaying here. Welcome to WPA. So one way is this to do it, and that same thing we can achieve in that other way. So I mark that now it's gone. So without closing this one here, also we can do that. Context and now welcome to WPA. Okay, so both the place, both the way we can achieve it and the other things, but now in this video. We're going to use in this way. Okay, so now label dot content is done. Now we can what else we have. Done. So now label dot tooltip is there. So tooltip we will understand that what tooltip is going to do whatever we like. So to the tooltip. Yeah. Okay. So now we can. Now, if we go ahead and run this, now this is displaying. This is a tooltip, and this is a WPF. This is that context. Whatever we pass, if we move our mouse there, so this is going to display now tooltip. This is the tooltip since we have not given any specific height and width. So now, if I go ahead and if we put that height, height of suppose if we put that. Hundred fifty, and if we put that width of two fifty, okay. So now it's displaying that it's going to put that here. We can put that margin horizontal alignment also. We can put that now horizontal alignment, and we can put that left. Okay. So now it's came to here. Now vertical alignment also we need to put that vertical alignment to top. Okay, so now it's went to here until this point where all this box is there. It will display that this is tooltip. If we go and put my mouse here, it's not going to display anything. So now let's see that in action. Now. See, I'm moving my mouse this side. It's not displaying anything. Okay, if I move my mouse here where we have that label size. So this is going to display that this is tooltip. So we'll try to understand that what are those needed and why those things are important for us later point of time. So for time being, I will remove all those things so that we can capture completely all those things and those things are fine. Okay. Now we'll try to understand. Uh, we can put that some border thickness also. Uh, we can first try to put that. First, we'll try to put that background image. Then we can understand that border thickness how it's going to be able to background. Okay. In this one, now I will try to insert that image. How to insert that image? So for this one, we have image cross. Okay, and then we can see that image source by default came it here. And now we need to pass that name. So suppose if I pass here any name, abc dot png. Suppose I pass that. 
but we can see that it's not able to recognize that it's not able to find that default place okay so since i am storing it different place and this one nothing is there with that abc dot p in the name so for this one what we need to do we need to right click on this one we need to go to add then existing item so i have added it here one image in this folder where i am storing that so i add it click on that add now we can see that it's got added here right and we see that image as well so now if i go ahead in place of abc if i put it here that image now we can see that it's automatically load that image and it started displaying welcome to the wpf as well so if we go ahead and run that now we are able to see that and now there are uh, no boundary nothing so now we can try to understand one more thing in this one I will go that border fitness. Border fitness. Fitness. Fifteen. Now we can see that. Okay, it's got changed that. So now if we go ahead on that. Now we see that our welcome to WPF it came fifteen pixel from every side. It's left and then it's came two in that. So it's created one border thickness of fifteen. Okay, we can do in this way uh, multiple things. Whatever we know that we can go ahead and try it out. So now we can go ahead. Okay. Trust. Okay. So now we can see that I put that red color. So now we able to realize that red colors of that border thickness of fifteen. Now if I go ahead and if I increase now border thickness to ten, so now we can see that and if we go ahead and increase to twenty five. We can see that now here that border thickness is started displaying. So in it will display like this one. So in this way, we have multiple things to use with that label. But basically, we use that label to display that info here. So I hope you like this video. Thank you.